Did you know that the quality of our friendships can significantly impact our mental and emotional health? Think about it. Hanging on to toxic friendships can be just as bad for you as ignoring your physical health. These kinds of relationships can bring on a whole lot of stress, anxiety, and a bunch of other negative feelings. It's super important to spot when a friendship is doing more harm than good, and even more crucial to know when it's time to step back for your own sake. In our video today, we're going to point out the clear signs that show when a friendship isn't lifting you up anymore. We're diving deep to understand these signals and we'll share some handy tips on how to smoothly and respectfully distance yourself from these draining connections. So let's jump right in and don't forget to stick around till the end of the video. You might be surprised to learn which of these signs you've been missing out on. Number 1. Constant Negativity Imagine having a friend who constantly radiates negativity, pessimism oozing from every word, criticism lurking in every conversation, and discouragement becoming the theme of your interactions. This is constant negativity, one of the most profound signs of a toxic friendship, and its impact on your mental and emotional well-being cannot be understated. Continuous exposure to negativity from a friend can lead to a gradual erosion of your self-esteem. It's like a persistent rain that eventually erodes even the strongest of rocks. You start doubting yourself, your choices, and your worth. You might find yourself constantly seeking approval or validation, trapped in a cycle of self-doubt. The stress of being around constant negativity is palpable. Your friend's negative attitude keeps you on edge, waiting for the next critical remark or pessimistic outlook. This chronic stress can manifest as anxiety, sleep disturbances, or even physical health issues, highlighting the profound connection between our emotional and physical well-being. But it doesn't stop there. Over time, the pervasive negativity can seep into your own outlook on life. You may find it increasingly difficult to see the silver lining in situations, always anticipating the worst. A once optimistic person may become trapped in a pessimistic mindset affecting not only your friendship but also your overall quality of life. Psychological studies corroborate these observations. Prolonged exposure to negativity has been linked to higher stress levels and an increased risk of mood disorders. Dr. Elaine Aron, a prominent psychologist, emphasizes that sensitive individuals, in particular, are susceptible to absorbing and internalizing the emotions of those around them, intensifying the impact of constant negativity. Recognizing constant negativity is crucial for your well-being. It's essential to differentiate it from occasional negative moods or constructive feedback. In toxic friendships, constant negativity is a recurring pattern, a pervasive cloud that shrouds your interactions. Number 2. Lack of support. Supporting one another is the golden thread that holds friendship altogether. Yet one of the most unmistakable signs of a toxic friendship is the glaring absence of this crucial element, lack of support. When a friend fails to provide the support we need, it can lead to feelings of isolation, low self-worth, and emotional distress. Healthy friendships are built on a foundation of support, a safety net that catches us when we stumble, celebrates our achievements, and offers a comforting embrace during life's storms. But what happens when that support is missing? The absence of support can manifest in different forms. It might be indifference to your achievements or struggles, as if your friend is emotionally detached from your life. It could be the failure to offer a kind word or a shoulder to cry on when you're going through a tough time. Or it may be the friend who is mysteriously unavailable when you need them the most, leaving you to navigate life's challenges alone. Psychological research underscores the profound impact of unsupportive friendships on an individual's mental health and overall well-being. Studies have shown that a lack of support can contribute to feelings of loneliness, anxiety, and even depression. It's a painful reminder that the people you should be able to count on are absent when you need them. Experts advise that recognizing an unsupportive friend is crucial for your emotional and mental health. Signs may include dismissive reactions to your concerns, a consistent inability to empathize with your struggles, 
or a chronic pattern of being unavailable during your times of need. Addressing or leaving an unsupportive friendship can be challenging, but is ultimately essential for your well-being. Honest communication can be the first step where you express your needs and feelings. If your friend is unwilling to change, it might be time to reevaluate the relationship. Remember, healthy friendships should uplift, not drag you down. The friends who stand by you through thick and thin are the ones worth cherishing. Lack of support should be a red flag, reminding you of your worth and your right to nurturing, fulfilling friendships. Number three, one-sided effort. Balance is key in friendship. One of the most telling signs of a toxic friendship is the concept of one-sided effort. This is when the scales of effort and investment in a friendship are drastically skewed with one person carrying the weight of the relationship. The implications of this imbalance are profound, leading to feelings of being undervalued, taken for granted, and emotionally exhausted. Imagine being the sole initiator of contact, always the one making plans and investing your heart and soul into a friendship while receiving little in return. This one-sided dynamic can be emotionally draining and incredibly isolating, leaving you with a gnawing sense of loneliness despite being in a supposed friendship. Psychologically, persistently being the only one making an effort can have a detrimental impact. It sends a message that your friendship isn't valued, eroding your self-esteem and self-worth. You may start questioning your own worthiness of equal effort and wonder why you're putting so much into a relationship that feels one-sided. Social psychology sheds light on why some individuals persist in one-sided friendships. Some may fear confrontation or abandonment, leading them to tolerate the imbalance. Others might have low self-esteem and believe they don't deserve more. However, research consistently emphasizes that mutual effort and reciprocity are fundamental to maintaining healthy, fulfilling relationships. Leading experts in psychology, such as Dr. John Gottman, stress the importance of fairness and effort sharing in friendships. They argue that imbalances can lead to resentment, dissatisfaction, and ultimately, the demise of the relationship. Recognizing a one-sided friendship is crucial for your emotional well-being. It's not about tallying every favor or keeping score, but rather about assessing whether the relationship is mutually fulfilling and respectful of your needs. Number four, disrespect for boundaries. Boundaries are the invisible fences that safeguard our emotional well-being and maintain the delicate balance in our friendships. In healthy relationships, boundaries are not just respected, they are cherished. However, one of the most glaring signs of a toxic friendship is the disrespect for boundaries. When personal boundaries, whether emotional, physical, or psychological, are continually violated, it can lead to a toxic and unhealthy dynamic. Boundary violations can take various forms. It might be a friend who constantly oversteps your personal space, ignoring your need for physical comfort. It could manifest as excessive demands on your time, energy, or resources, leaving you feeling drained and overwhelmed. Or it may be a friend who fails to respect your privacy or personal decisions, pushing their agenda onto you. These breaches erode trust and comfort within the relationship, leading to stress and anxiety. Your once safe space becomes fraught with tension and discomfort. You may find yourself constantly on edge, unsure when the next boundary will be crossed. From a psychological perspective, boundaries are crucial for individual autonomy and well-being. They define the limits of self and help establish a sense of identity. When these boundaries are repeatedly disrespected, it can lead to a loss of self, leaving you feeling like your needs and desires are insignificant. Psychological research emphasizes the importance of boundaries in maintaining healthy interpersonal relationships. Experts like Dr. Brene Brown highlight that boundaries are essential for vulnerability and trust. When boundaries are respected, trust deepens, creating a secure and nurturing environment for friendship to thrive. Recognizing disrespect for boundaries is a vital step in safeguarding your emotional well-being. It's a reminder that your needs and limits are valid and deserving of respect. 
healthy friendships should be built on mutual understanding and respect for each other's boundaries. Number five, manipulative behavior. Trust and mutual respect are the bedrock upon which healthy bonds are built. However, one of the most pervasive signs of a toxic friendship is the presence of manipulative behavior. This insidious trait can take many forms, including guilt tripping, gaslighting, emotional blackmail, or subtle coercion, and it systematically erodes the very foundations of trust and respect. Manipulative individuals employ a range of psychological tactics to gain power and control within a friendship. Guilt tripping, for instance, involves making you feel responsible for their emotions, actions, or happiness. Gaslighting, on the other hand, involves distorting reality to make you doubt your own perceptions and sanity. Emotional blackmail preys on your vulnerabilities, using your deepest fears and insecurities against you. Subtle coercion manipulates you into doing things against your will through persuasion or subtle pressure. The impact of manipulative behavior on the victim's mental health is profound. It can lead to a cycle of dependency where you feel helpless and reliant on the manipulator for validation and approval. Your self-esteem is chipped away and you begin to question your own worth and judgment. Emotional distress becomes a constant companion as you're trapped in a toxic dynamic that's designed to keep you off balance. Psychological research reveals that manipulative behaviors often stem from underlying insecurities, a desire for power and control, or a need to cover up one's own vulnerabilities. Understanding the reasons behind manipulative behavior can be the first step toward recognizing and addressing it. Recognizing manipulative behavior in a friendship can be challenging, as manipulators are often skilled at concealing their tactics. Victims may struggle to trust their own instincts and may even blame themselves for the toxic dynamic. However, seeking support from trusted friends, family members, or a therapist can provide clarity and validation. Friendships should be a source of support, trust, and mutual respect. If you find yourself entangled in manipulative behavior, know that you have the power to extricate yourself from this toxic web. Empower yourself with knowledge, seek support, and remember that healthy friendships should lift you up, not tear you down. Number six, jealousy and competitiveness. Friendships should be a source of camaraderie, mutual support, and shared joy. However, one of the most destructive signs of a toxic friendship is the presence of jealousy and competitiveness. While healthy competition can be motivational, destructive envy-driven competitiveness can strain the bonds of friendship, leading to mutual resentment and a breakdown of trust and respect. The signs of jealousy and competitiveness in friendships are often subtle yet insidious. It may manifest as constant comparison, where your achievements are consistently measured against your friends or vice versa. Your successes may be downplayed, dismissed or overshadowed, leaving you feeling as though your accomplishments hold no value. Some friends may even go to great lengths to outdo your achievements, turning every aspect of your life into a competition. These behaviors erode the foundations of mutual support and respect, which are essential for a healthy friendship to flourish. Instead of celebrating each other's accomplishments, jealousy and competitiveness breed a culture of rivalry and one-upmanship. Psychologically, individuals who exhibit jealousy and competitiveness in friendships may be grappling with their insecurities, low self-esteem, or fear of inadequacy. They may view your successes as a threat to their self-worth, prompting them to compete rather than celebrate your achievements. In doing so, they not only undermine your happiness, but also perpetuate their own negative emotions. Studies in psychology suggest that jealousy and competitiveness in friendships can lead to negative long-term consequences, including strained relationships, emotional distress, and even the dissolution of the friendship. The toxicity of these traits can extend beyond the specific friendship, impacting an individual's social and emotional well-being in the broader context of their life. Recognizing the signs of jealousy and competitiveness in a friendship is crucial. Healthy competition can be motivational, but when it morphs into a toxic dynamic, 
it's time to assess the health of the relationship. Communicating openly about your feelings and setting boundaries can be the first steps toward addressing these issues. Friendships should be nurturing and uplifting. They should be spaces where your successes are celebrated and your challenges met with empathy. By understanding the destructive nature of jealousy and competitiveness, you can take proactive steps to foster healthier, more supportive relationships. Number seven, dishonesty and trust issues. Trust is the cornerstone of any healthy friendship. It's the glue that holds us together, the assurance that we can rely on one another. However, one of the most destructive signs of a toxic friendship is the presence of dishonesty and trust issues. When honesty, whether through lies, half-truths, or omissions, becomes a rarity in a friendship, it erodes the very foundation on which that friendship is built. Dishonesty can manifest in various ways within a friendship. It might be the friend who habitually tells lies or withholds information. It could be the use of half-truths or manipulative omissions to manipulate your perception of reality. These dishonest behaviors create an atmosphere of uncertainty and insecurity, making it increasingly difficult to trust your friend. The immediate and long-term impacts of dishonesty in a friendship are profound. Dealing with a dishonest friend can lead to increased anxiety as you question the truthfulness of their words and actions. You may find it challenging to trust others, even outside the context of that friendship, as the breach of trust leaves a lasting scar. A general sense of betrayal lingers, straining your ability to connect with others on a deep and meaningful level. Psychologically, individuals may resort to dishonesty in friendships due to their own insecurities, fear of vulnerability, or a desire to maintain control over the relationship. However, the continual presence of trust issues can create a toxic cycle where both parties are left wounded and weary. Research in psychology underscores the paramount importance of honesty and trust in interpersonal relationships. Experts emphasize that trust is not only vital for the well-being of the friendship, but also for the mental and emotional health of those involved. Once trust is broken, rebuilding it can be a challenging and lengthy process, often requiring open communication, accountability, and time. Recognizing the signs of dishonesty and trust issues is crucial for maintaining your emotional and mental well-being. Healthy friendships should be built on a foundation of trust and honesty, where you can rely on each other without reservation. By understanding the destructive nature of dishonesty and trust issues, you can empower yourself to make informed decisions about your friendships, fostering relationships that are grounded in authenticity and trust. Number 8. Constant Criticism in friendships, constructive feedback can be a valuable thread, fostering growth and understanding. However, one of the most corrosive signs of a toxic friendship is the presence of constant criticism. This goes beyond constructive feedback, delving into a realm of relentless negativity that undermines self-esteem and poisons the atmosphere of the relationship. Constant criticism can take various insidious forms within a friendship, it might manifest as persistent nitpicking, where every action or choice is scrutinized and found wanting. Belittling comments may become a common occurrence, chipping away at your confidence and self-worth. Regardless of the situation, a friend who constantly points out faults and shortcomings fosters an environment of negativity and inadequacy. Being on the receiving end of constant criticism carries significant psychological implications it can erode your self-confidence, leaving you perpetually doubting your abilities and worth. Feelings of inadequacy may fester as you internalize the negative views projected onto you. Over time, this toxic dynamic can lead to a profound erosion of self-esteem and self-worth. Psychologically, individuals who engage in constant criticism may themselves be grappling with insecurities, a need for control, or unresolved issues from their past. However, the impact of this behavior extends beyond the criticizer. It perpetuates a cycle of negativity that strains the friendship and takes a toll on both parties involved. 
Research in psychology highlights the detrimental effects of constant criticism within interpersonal relationships. Experts emphasize the importance of communication and balance in feedback, underlining the line where constructive criticism becomes emotionally harmful. Healthy friendships are built on mutual respect, where feedback is given with kindness and consideration. Recognizing constant criticism in a friendship is pivotal for your well-being. Constructive feedback should uplift and nurture growth, not tear you down. Empower yourself to address this behavior by setting boundaries, expressing your feelings, and assessing whether the friendship aligns with your values and needs. Friendships should be a source of positivity and support. By understanding the harmful nature of constant criticism, you can take steps to foster relationships that nurture your well-being and growth. Number 9. Emotional or Physical Abuse Friendships are meant to be a source of comfort, trust, and support. However, there are moments when the line between friendship and toxicity becomes painfully clear. One of the gravest signs of a toxic friendship is the presence of emotional or physical abuse, a devastating dynamic that sets it apart from ordinary disagreements or conflicts. Abuse within a friendship can take various horrifying forms. It might start with verbal attacks, where words are used as weapons to wound and belittle. Emotional manipulation may follow, as your feelings are exploited to control and dominate. In extreme cases, physical harm or intimidation may rear its ugly head, causing not just emotional scars but physical ones as well. Recognizing the warning signs of abusive behavior in friendships is essential. These signs may include threats, controlling behavior, or actions that cause fear, harm, or diminish your sense of self-worth and autonomy. Abusers often seek to exert power and control over their friends, leaving them in a constant state of fear and vulnerability. The psychological and emotional impact of enduring such abuse is profound. It can lead to long-lasting trauma, decreased self-esteem, and trust issues that permeate all areas of life. Victims of abuse may internalize the abuse, blaming themselves for the toxic dynamic and feeling trapped in a cycle of manipulation and harm. Understanding why individuals might stay in abusive friendships is complex. They may fear retaliation, be financially dependent on the abuser, or have low self-esteem that makes them believe they deserve the mistreatment. Recognizing and addressing these toxic dynamics can be particularly challenging in friendships, where the societal focus often centers on abusive romantic or familial relationships. Psychological research underscores the gravity of emotional and physical abuse within interpersonal relationships. Experts emphasize the importance of seeking help and support to exit such toxic and harmful friendships. Safety and well-being should always take precedence over loyalty to a friendship that has become destructive. Friendships should be a sanctuary, a space where you feel cherished and protected. By understanding the serious nature of emotional and physical abuse in friendships, you can empower yourself to recognize the signs and seek help when needed. Know that you are not alone, and there is support available to help you exit toxic relationships and prioritize your mental and physical well-being. Number 10. Gossiping and Betrayal Friendships are sacred bonds built on trust, respect, and mutual support. However, when gossiping and acts of betrayal creep into the picture, they can shatter the very foundation that friendships are built upon. These toxic behaviors break down trust and respect, leading to profound consequences for both individuals and the entire social circle involved. Gossip and betrayal come in various destructive forms within friendships. It might start with the whisper of rumors, half-truths, or outright lies that tarnish a friend's reputation. Sharing confidential information, which was entrusted in confidence, breaches the sacred trust that is a cornerstone of genuine friendship. Backstabbing behaviors, where a friend undermines or betrays your trust for personal gain or amusement, leave scars that run deep. The harm inflicted by these actions is not limited to the individual who is the subject of the gossip or betrayal. It erodes the integrity of the friendship and the entire social circle it encompasses. Trust is fractured, respect is replaced by suspicion, and the bonds of friendship become brittle and strained. 
Psychologically, both the victim and the perpetrator are impacted. The victim experiences a loss of trust, feelings of hurt, and anger that can linger, affecting their ability to form secure, trusting relationships in the future. Trust issues and skepticism become their constant companions, shaping their interactions with others. Understanding why some individuals engage in gossip and betrayal in friendships is a complex endeavor. Social psychology offers insights into the motivations behind these behaviors, which may stem from personal insecurities, a desire for power, or the need for validation. However, irrespective of the reasons, these actions reflect poorly on the character of the perpetrator and threaten the very essence of friendship. Friendship should be a haven of trust, authenticity, and shared experiences. By recognizing the destructive nature of gossiping and betrayal, you can empower yourself to confront these behaviors, establish clear boundaries, and prioritize relationships that are grounded in mutual respect and support. Number 11. Ignoring your needs. In the symphony of friendships, mutual understanding and attentiveness to each other's needs are the harmonious notes that create a beautiful melody. But when a friend consistently disregards or overlooks your needs, feelings, and well-being, the discordant notes of toxicity become impossible to ignore. A healthy friendship thrives on the foundation of mutual care and consideration. Friends should be attuned to each other's emotions, respectful of personal boundaries, and responsive to each other's needs. However, in toxic friendships, this fundamental aspect is often glaringly absent. Ignoring your needs can manifest in various hurtful ways. It might start with indifference to your feelings, as if your emotions hold no significance in the relationship. Neglecting your emotional or physical well-being becomes a recurring theme, leaving you feeling isolated and undervalued. Your preferences and boundaries may be consistently dismissed, eroding your sense of autonomy and importance. The toll of having your needs consistently ignored in a friendship is profound. It chips away at your self-esteem, leaving you questioning your worth and significance in the relationship. Trust in friendships becomes fragile as you grapple with feelings of insignificance and loneliness. The emotional health of both individuals in the friendship suffers as the connection becomes increasingly one-sided. Psychological research underscores the negative impact of having your needs consistently overlooked in friendships. It can lead to long-term consequences on self-esteem, trust in relationships, and overall emotional well-being. Experts emphasize the importance of reciprocity and emotional support in maintaining a balanced and fulfilling friendship. Friendships should be a source of solace and support where each partner's needs are acknowledged and respected. By recognizing the significance of attention to each other's needs and the absence of it in toxic relationships, you can empower yourself to seek connections that prioritize mutual understanding and respect. Number 12. Gaslighting. In the realm of toxic friendships, one particularly sinister manipulation tactic stands out. Gaslighting. Gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation where one person systematically makes their friend doubt their own memories, perceptions, and even sanity. This insidious behavior distorts reality and self-belief, leaving scars that may last a lifetime. Gaslighting manifests in various destructive ways within friendships. It may begin with the denial of previous conversations or events leaving you feeling as though you're losing your grip on reality. Your feelings are trivialized, dismissed as overly emotional or irrational. Your judgment and memory are consistently questioned, creating a power imbalance that chips away at your self-confidence and autonomy. The consequences of gaslighting on an individual's mental health are profound. It can lead to increased anxiety, confusion, and isolation as you grapple with a distorted sense of reality and self-doubt. The gaslighter seeks to exert control by manipulating your perceptions, leaving you feeling like you can't trust your own mind. Understanding why individuals might employ gaslighting tactics is complex. It can stem from a desire for control, a need for power, or an attempt to cover up their own wrongdoing. 
Victims of gaslighting often find it challenging to recognize and address this manipulation as they become entangled in a web of confusion and self-doubt. Psychological perspectives on gaslighting shed light on its serious nature and the devastating impact it can have on friendships. Victims may find themselves trapped in a cycle of self-blame and self-doubt, making it challenging to break free from the toxic dynamic. Friendships should be a source of trust, respect, and support. By recognizing the signs and consequences of gaslighting in friendships, you can empower yourself to confront this toxic behavior, set boundaries, and prioritize relationships that are built on authenticity and mutual respect. Number 13. Unhealthy Influence Friendships hold the power to shape our lives in profound ways. They can inspire, support, and enrich us, but they can also exert an unhealthy influence that compromises our values, decisions, and lifestyle. Recognizing and addressing this type of toxic friendship is essential to safeguarding your well-being. Signs of an unhealthy influence in a friendship are subtle but impactful. It may start with peer pressure, where a friend encourages you to participate in risky activities that go against your better judgment. Your personal ethics may be disregarded as you are swayed to make choices that conflict with your well-being. These influences can lead to both short-term and long-term negative effects. In the short term, you may find yourself making choices you later regret, damaging other relationships, or experiencing inner turmoil. In the long term, the loss of your self-identity and integrity can erode your sense of self-worth and purpose. Understanding why some friends exert such influences is complex and often rooted in their own insecurities or desires for control. Equally complex is why individuals might succumb to these influences, which can be influenced by a desire for acceptance or fear of rejection. Psychological and social research sheds light on the dangers of unhealthy influences in friendships. It underscores the importance of maintaining personal boundaries and having the ability to say no to protect your mental and emotional health. Your well-being should always take precedence and friendships that compromise it should be carefully evaluated. Friendships should uplift and support you, not lead you down a perilous path. By recognizing the signs and understanding the risks associated with unhealthy influences in friendships, you can empower yourself to make decisions that align with your values, protect your well-being, and nurture relationships that foster personal growth and authenticity. Number 14. Feeling Drained Friendships are meant to be sources of joy, support, and rejuvenation in our lives. They should leave us feeling uplifted and energized not emotionally and mentally drained. When you find yourself continuously interacting with a toxic friend and feeling emotionally depleted, it's a clear indicator of an unhealthy relationship that needs attention. The emotional drain in toxic friendships can manifest in various ways. You might feel physically tired after spending time with your friend, as if their presence has sapped your energy. Interactions with them may be dreaded, causing anxiety and discomfort rather than anticipation and excitement. The friendship itself can become a burden, leaving you feeling weighed down by negativity and stress. Healthy friendships provide emotional sustenance and comfort, acting as a safe haven in the storms of life. They should leave you feeling replenished, not depleted. However, emotionally draining friendships can lead to a downward spiral of exhaustion and diminishing mental health. Psychological insights reveal that certain friendships can become emotionally draining due to imbalances in support, constant negativity, or manipulative behaviors. The long-term effects of staying in such draining relationships can be severe, impacting mental health by increasing stress, anxiety, and decreasing overall life satisfaction. Recognizing when a friendship is causing more emotional drain than support is a crucial step toward prioritizing your well-being. It's essential to understand that friendships should enhance your life, not detract from it. By identifying and addressing emotionally draining friendships, you can empower yourself to seek healthier, more fulfilling relationships that promote your emotional and mental balance. Friendships should be the threads that strengthen, not weaken, the fabric of your well-being. 
Number 15. Lack of joy and comfort. Friendships should be a source of joy, comfort, and a profound sense of well-being. They should lift your spirits, bring happiness to your life, and provide a comforting refuge in times of need. When these positive feelings consistently wane or are entirely absent in a friendship, it's a clear sign that something may be amiss. Recognizing the signs that a friendship is no longer providing the joy and comfort it once did is crucial. You may find yourself feeling stressed or anxious about interactions with your friend, dreading the thought of spending time together, or even feeling a sense of relief rather than regret when plans are canceled. These are all indicators that the relationship may have shifted from a source of positivity to one of discomfort and dissatisfaction. Psychological perspectives emphasize the importance of positive emotions in friendships. Positive feelings not only enhance our overall well-being, but also strengthen the bonds we share with our friends. When joy and comfort consistently elude a friendship, it can take a toll on your mental and emotional health. So why do some people persist in friendships that lack joy and comfort? The reasons can vary, from a fear of loneliness to a sense of obligation or guilt. It's not always easy to let go of a friendship, even when it no longer contributes positively to your life. However, recognizing the value of joy and comfort in friendships is the first step in acknowledging when it's time to reevaluate the relationship. Your well-being should always be a priority, and friendships that consistently bring you down rather than lift you up may need to be reconsidered. Friendships should be the threads that bring warmth, color, and happiness to your journey. By understanding the significance of joy and comfort in friendships and learning to identify when they are lacking, you can empower yourself to seek relationships that bring positivity, fulfillment, and emotional well-being into your life. As we wrap up, I hope these 10 signs have illuminated the paths you can take to safeguard your emotional well-being by recognizing and stepping away from toxic friendships. Remember, prioritizing your mental health is not just important, it's necessary. Like the saying goes, better safe than sorry. The same applies to nurturing healthy relationships. Now, it's your turn to share. Have you experienced any of these signs in your friendships? Were you aware of their impact before watching this video? We're eager to hear your stories and thoughts in the comments below. Your experiences could be a guiding light for someone else facing similar challenges. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content that empowers and informs.